all, hello again, and welcome back um, to another episode. This one, I'm going to try and make it as a financial nutshell and always giving some sort of update um, just to help out. Um, this one's going to be more specifically of a the tax deadline um, has been extended, but I want to be very, very clear. Uh, it's only for Florida uh, you know, uh, residents. So in other words, if you are in the state of Florida, uh, due to FEMA and this horrendous, you know, hurricane, and what is done to us, I mean, obviously FEMA has designated the state of Florida an emergency, um, and therefore any Floridians have an automatic extension, okay, due to the hurricane, because they're victims, right, um, from October 17th, which, which was the original extension, if, if you have put one, uh, has been granted into February 15th. Now, I did a very, um, what they call short video um, um, that I did uh, publish a couple of days ago, but I promised that I was going to go more into details for those of you who wanted to know more about what else is included into this extension. So as you can see, I'm sharing my screen. In one of the articles, it says tax deadlines extended for hurricane and victims in Florida, okay? Now, one of the things I really wanna cover here real quickly, okay? It's number one, like I said, as you can see, FEMA, okay? The Emergency, Emergency Management Agency, okay? did request this to the IRS due to the emergency. It has been granted. So again, there's nothing that you need to do additional. You do not need to call the IRS agent uh, and, and, and request an extension. This is done automatically. There's no need to send a letter. Don't worry. As it is, you have enough stress, especially you were affected, especially if you were in the West Coast uh, which my heart goes to all of you because I'm also a Floridian resident in the East Coast. So I truly, truly so sorry that you're going through such a, uh, you know, really harsh time. Um, I've been there uh, through quite a few hurricanes already, uh, living here for over 25 years plus. So I, I, I have I have had of a, I would say a good fear of um, experiences, but again, I, I'm not there with you right now. So my heart goes out to you, please stay strong. But going back to what this video is and the topic, the deadlines has been extended, okay? And one of the things I do want to mention, it says it very specifically, specifically, I'm sorry, in this article, it says, however, payments for 2021 income taxes that were due on April 18th, okay, of 22 are not extended. So there was already, when you put your original extension, if you did, and you put that extension, you already knew there was taxes due on your 1040, these are still due. In other words, always remember that every time we place any type of tax um, extensions, even though they give you that granted six months additional, keep in mind that if you owe taxes and you have a liability, that means a tax bill, you should be paying something at least into that even when you file the extensions. This is something that I always try to emphasize you know, my clients, because a lot of times people misunderstand and they tell me, well, Liz, I don't get it. I did put an extension and then I got a penalty or they charge me interest. Why did that happen? Well, because again, if you have other source of income, they're not, they're not a W-2, meaning you're self-employed or anything like that, then that means that there is a balance in taxes that you owe. Hopefully you're doing what's called quarterly tax payment and that is gonna come handy that way you don't get hit with a huge bill at the beginning of the year, okay? So again, I wanna be very clear about this. Also, another thing that they're doing is for corporations. So if you do have a corporation, with the 2021 filing extension expiring on October 17th, you also have into February 15th to file and pay taxes too. So this is separate to the individual taxes. This has to do with corporations. Again, they also get an extension for that. Now, for the tax exempt organizations like non-for-profits, okay, 
these are going to have originally into on November 15th. Okay, so it's a shorter, you know, deadline that they're giving you, but they're still giving you a little extra time. All right. Now, another thing I do want to mention real quick here is during this IRS that's giving you a relief. I also want you to understand that if you are an employer, again, a corporation, okay, the due dates that I'm highlighting here in the article, it says for, for quarterly payroll and ex excess tax return normally due on October 31st or 22 and January 31st or 23 has been extended also to February 15th. So, Please go back to this article. It's really good. I'm going to share the link below. Um, so check it. That way you can read everything. Also, there's been inclusive another deduction for damages or loss of property. Again, I know people in the Southwest and all that area has been very, very affected. Um, I believe as far as I know, Puerto Rico has been devastated too. They got two hurricanes within not even a week, uh, you know, a, a separation. So um, I'm hoping that they're going to have some sort of also relief. Um, so therefore, for the victims of iron, oh, again, the claim, they can claim a tax deduction for unreimbursed damages or loss of property. To do so, they typically must itemize and file a Schedule A with the tax return 1040, right? Now, however, victims who claim the standard deductions may still be able to deduct their losses if they can claim them as a business losses on Schedule C. Okay, so this is really important point that way you can take advantage when you have to file your return. So I hope this gives you some sort of tax relief as it is. Again, I'm sorry that you're all going through this and I know because I can relate to this. I've been in your shoes for quite a few times after living, like I said, for more than 25 years in the state of Florida. Um, it's really devastating. Um, this is one, there was, this was another article that you can also look at. And this is where it says exactly how they're extending the RRX October tax filing deadline um, to February 15th. Again, you got four additional months I hope that helps a little bit some way, somehow. And I'm doing something really special for all my fellows in Floridians. By the way, if you don't know who I am, please go and visit my channel. And you can see a lot of videos that I try to share. And I'm trying to do a lot of financial updates uh, in a nutshell, hopefully less than maybe 15 or even 10 minutes. I know the time is crunchy for everyone now in these days, and we have so many distractions, but I want you to get the right source of information. So I'm trying to be as quick as possible providing valuable information. So again, I'm going to be offering for Floridians. I am a tax expert professional. I've been registered with Internal Revenue for over 17 years. Yes, I'm a proactive accountant, yada, yada, yada. I'm a tax professional. Oh, and you can look my biography and everything I've done in the last 17 years. But just for the Floridian, because I want to give you some extra relief, anybody who reaches out before the end of this year, 2022, okay, December 31st before 2022, you will get a 25% off my services. That's right. You heard me right. This is what I want to give back to my followers residents here in Florida. However, you have to be a Florida resident. I will require to see your driver's license to prove it. So again, I'm willing to help out in the process. And by the way, my tax packages are not just like just any other, you know, uh, 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 you know, block and, and other, I don't want to name big names, but they only do tax preparation. I include a package, which is tax planning, because that's what the true, true asset is for me to provide you help to cut down your tax bills and how to really learn the loopholes to save more of your hard earned money, okay? So I hope that somehow, if I can help you, like I said, please just reach out to me. There's phone numbers, there's information that you can find below in the comment box. And that way I can help you. Again, only this is only for Floridians, please. Anyone else in other states, I apologize. I'm not doing it for other residents in other states, just for Florida. I know what you're going through. And if I can help you some way and at least giving you a reduction of my services, which is not going to compromise my quality of service at all, but I want to do this for Floridians. Again, before December 31st of 2022, reach out to me 
and I will go ahead and give you a 25% discount out of my professional services, okay? So I hope you stay safe, stay strong. And like I say, I'm here for you. And I hope you do the best you can in these kind of very devastating times. I wish you the very best. Stay safe. This is Liz. Bye-bye.